Hello everybody and welcome back to part 25-ish of The Long Dark. We're in episode 3. I think we're near the end of episode 3 actually. And um, yeah, so uh, we're to the point where we just are going to finish up some side missions. We're going to finish up the church artifact and then we're going to catch a big fish. And we're going to do those both in this episode and then we're going to leave. So yeah, real quickly, let's go. And while we were off camera, I decided I'd head on up here myself so you guys don't have to watch me go through that. It was actually uneventful completely, so let's see what all is in here. Well, we've got another local legends book over here. So there's some sort of mystical uh, stag of some sort out there somewhere. This stuff will come in handy. 89% might actually be better than something of mine. Nope, never mind, it's not. And down here we have a newspaper clipping. Okay, cool. Let's search the suitcase. Undelivered letter. Well, this is the guy saying he needed some way to get some money. So I, uh, Go to Skeeter's Ridge Basement. Where the frick it- oh my- Wait, so what was this right? Oh my gosh. Well, next looks like we gotta go on up here. Over here is the, uh, the ghost stag, but I don't think we'll be doing that because we, uh, we don't got time for that. Alright, well, after forever of walking slowly, we finally made it to here. So let's, let's, let's go on in and see what, what there is for us. Oh my gosh, this place is big. Hold on. Alright, take a look around. We've got the good old Pleasant Valley History Part 3. Very interesting. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up top, plop down a fire, and hopefully heat up and eat some stuff. Voila! Okay, so we have what we come we've uh, we have what we came for and uh, we are ready to go back. So I decided we'll come around the back way through the plain. We'll follow the river over here and maybe see the thing above. Okay, it looks like we have some trees or something that are supposed to be growing here. And uh, we got the three strikes farmstead. Oh. I didn't expect to find all this in here. Wow. I think I can use this. Well. What do you know? Okay. We got the uh part one of the Forest Talker collectible. Very interesting. Got some wood here. We got the hatchet. 84% condition. Which is a bit more than mine, so I'll go ahead and take it. We also have another hunting rifle. So, uh, cool. Now we got ourselves a whole, whole load of weapons. in the snow shelter and watch for the stack. Ooh. 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 Just out of nowhere. It's like, you know what? MREs everywhere. Okay. Okay. Very cool. So we've got our work glove things, which are whatever, and these things, which are far superior. Very good. The only thing we need are, like, the super cool deer pants, however, I think the combat pants are just as good as the deer pants, so... Eh. We'll go ahead and use this. I 
Do I kill it? Oh! You just tanked that shot. How the heck do I get out? Wow. He just tanked a headshot and he's not even bleeding. Wow. Well, good for him, I guess. Except now it's almost night time and that's, uh, that's not good. I guess we'll be heading all the way down to Molly's house. I don't really want to be outside when it's getting dark out like this, but, um... We have some pretty nice clothing, so I think we'll be alright. So I was thinking, right? They have an opportunity here. I... they're not going to take it, I don't think. But they have an opportunity. They could have had Astrid, for whatever reason, come through the, um, the rear of the dam, that, uh, river area, whatever that's called. Cause that way leads to Pleasant Valley. So if we came from here, from Pleasant Valley, through there, and like say, as McKinsey was, you know, having the crap beat out of him, we just walk in there and essentially save him. That, that would have, that would have been a fairly good opportunity. But uh, I don't believe they're gonna take that opportunity. So, whatever. Another thing I don't understand is that is is Molly is she supposed to be an antagonist? Like, are they setting her up to be bad? Because she wasn't necessarily bad to us this episode. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm interested to see where they take her. Alright, I bet you guys thought I wasn't going to make it. But honestly, I just went across the entire map. I just went from up here all the way around to here. And I didn't see a single... Well, I saw some wolves, but they didn't attack me because I avoided them. Like... It <laughs> I love it. I go in the middle of the night and it's like one of the most peaceful walks I've had the whole time. This is stupid. Alright, it's a new day, which means a new time to go fishing. Fishing. Real quick, let's just put the artifact right back where it belongs. I should check back tomorrow. Okay, very good. Well, I got in a tussle with, uh, I think it was two wolves. Maybe three, but I never saw a third. I only saw two. And I shot them both once with the revolver. And, um, well, actually, I shot one of them twice, and then the other one I shot once, and, uh, it was way back at the town. So they just haven't really, this is, this is where I am now. It happened, like, right over here, and I'm all the way over here now. Oh, there they are. Okay. I was wondering. Now watch this. Hmm, cool. Easy peasy. Alright, here we finally freaking are, and this time... Dick, close the door. This time... This time... My stupid fishing tackles are not going to break, and I'm going to catch the biggest darn fish you've ever seen. <laughs> 33 pounds, oh my gosh! Big bass, <laughs> big bass. Oh my gosh, 117 or... Boiled. Cool. That's a big base. Alright, well. This is going to suck to take home, but, uh... Oh, gosh. It must be done. Look at this thing. 
Look at it. 4,300 calories. Look at that thing. It's absolutely giant. Alright, well let's see what's here in the church. There should be something. Right, get over here. Thank you, letter. Oh, well, that's nice. That's so oh, handy. and he's given us a nice hat. I knew it. See, we were going to get something good from this. I knew it. Okay, so this one's work. Okay, so we'll stick it on here. It's going to be three point. Oh, okay, it's a little bit better. It blocks the wind. Interesting, alright. And then we'll stick the better hat on there. Oh yeah, we pimping now. That fish we caught, I'm gonna call him Big Bass. Because that's what he is, he's like bass but bass. There's no reason the word should be different. It's not spelled different. It's just, it should be the same. You know what, so... Here's the problem, alright. I currently have 76 out of 88 pounds. I'm carrying a fair amount of food. Like, this is a lot of food. And I'm carrying some very basic stuff like the revolver, some ammo that doesn't really weigh much at all, the bow, and that's it. I still need to carry a lot more. And I can't take big base with me, for the love of God, because this thing weighs 33 pounds. 33. It's gonna put us at like, what, 100 something? Yeah, 109. So I'll just I'll stick him back in there. <sighs> I'm sorry, Big Bass. I think you're going to have to stay here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Here's what we are bringing. Here in all of its glory, we have about two and a half rifle cleaning kits. We have the rifle, we have the revolver, we have the bow, we have the whetstone. Uh, we got some... Some food stuff. Oh, we actually have a lot of food. We have the distress pistol. We have some flares for it. We have ammo for almost all these things. I'm just going to grab some more ammo for those stuff. And then um, I believe the ammo is in here. Give me all that. Give me all that. And alright guys. I think the time has come for us to leave. It's a shame we won't be coming back here, really. Makes me sad deep down on the inside. Especially since I have, I mean, you know, I'm having, I'm having to leave Big Base behind. Nobody wants to see Big Base leave, we just got him. It's mighty unfortunate, really. I still think the strategy of, you know, going up from the back of the dam into the hydro dam to save McKenzie, I think that would have been a brilliant idea. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is taking us to Coastal Highway, I think. Oh, and Coastal Highway, well, while it does come out right next to the hydro dam, I doubt that's where we will be going. Uh, farewell, Pleasant Valley. I kind of liked you. Pleasant Valley is one of my favorite maps. In fact, this this might, if it wasn't for the Timberwolves, it might dethrone Mystery Lake as my favorite map so far, at least in the story mode. Only thing about Mystery Lake is it's just there's. You seem more lonely in Mystery Lake. That's the bad thing, but it doesn't have these stupid timber wolves. And I hate timber wolves. These these guys are suckers. Oh man. This has been fun though. I really enjoyed this episode. I have to say I think episode two was it's my favorite so far, episode two. This takes the place for second favorite and um well, honorable mention goes to the first episode, so, yeah. It's worth mentioning I, uh, I left the flashlight behind. 
That thing weighs about two and a half pounds, which is kind of a lot, really, so... And I left that behind. Also, I'm kind of confused. I don't know what this mine everyone's talking about is. It, I don't know how we get up there. I don't know. I guess I'll just... Oh. Oh, you need to go around that way. Okay, I see. Let's do that. Well, this is a problem. Here's what I'm going to try and do. I'm just going to go ahead, head up here, and uh, well, hopefully they won't. Uh, hopefully they won't follow me. This is a very steep hill. I know you guys are mad. You guys are mad. I'm about to make an escape. Working on it anyway. There's my flares about to go. Alright, give me in, give me in. Whew, that was a close one. Leaving Pleasant Valley. Make sure you've completed all other missions and tasks before exploring the mine. This is the point of no return. Well... Seeing as how there's lots of... evil wolves out there... I think, uh... I think we'll be, uh... on our way. Yeah, I'm just checking here. We only have this main quest and the side quest, this is the only one, the Forest Stalkers. We have to find the collectibles and uh, I have no idea where we're going to find those, nor are we probably going to find anything interesting from them other than a little bit of possibly insight, so. That said, I think it's time we push forward. Alrighty. Yeah. I can almost guarantee you what's going to happen. It's going to collapse on us. I can guarantee you it, because like, as I was coming up here, I didn't get it on camera. But yeah, there was an earthquake. It was before the wolves attacked, so... We'll see how this goes. This definitely seems iffy. Is there anything over there? I don't see anything. Should I have gone? I'll, I'll explore the other way. We'll go take the left branch. Alright. Left. What do you have to offer? I remember this place. It had the big spiral in here. And there were two ways to get places, except there were, uh, there was stuff here and you could get it if you wanted. But it doesn't look like that's an option here. Okay, well, we'll continue our way down to this bottom floor. This place is pretty beat up. Hmm. Let's go right. Oh, this looks like a dead end. Alright, well, having to find another way isn't too bad because there's this nice direction right here. Well, we don't know how deep it goes. It probably goes pretty deep. Is there anything on the other side of the crate here? Nope. Alright. There's really only one way so far. What have we got 
in here. Looks like we've got some barrels. Got a workbench. Because you know, I can never have too many workbenches. They always put them in the places where I don't stay. Don't need that. Don't need that. Force this boy open. Don't need that. I'll take that. Doesn't seem there's anything else interesting in this room. But it's going to happen since I enter here. Well, just an earthquake. All right. Yeah, this is sketchy vibes. Oh, there it is. 